Thank you, Pius. Uh, first of all, let me also add my voice to the earlier speakers by uh, apologizing for the, uh, the delay. Uh, <clears throat> I also want to use this opportunity to congratulate uh, the Minister for information for having come up with this uh, wonderful uh, conference room. Uh, for me, it really boosts my morale uh, that I have to be coming to this room very often, you know, because the sitting arrangement and everything, it's splendid. Mr. Minister, congratulations. <laughs> my Deputy Minister for uh, Petroleum, um, Minister for Information, and his Deputy Chief Executive of GMPC, Dr. Keke Sapon, the Petroleum Chief Executive, uh, my good friend, Egbert, uh, my director of Upstream, uh, my technical director, the media, uh, press, uh, all friends, and invited guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yesterday, as we were all aware, uh, a public advocacy think tank called Imani held a pe press conference at which it sought to challenge what it thinks are various acts of omissions, commissions on part of government in respect of the plan of development submitted by an IOC named Aka Energy for and behalf of all the contracting parties in the petroleum agreement covering the deep water tunnel Cape Three Points contract area. The Ministry of Energy has called this particular press conference to set the record straight, particularly to the extent that Imani put up a total fabricated false info information to educate the good people of this country. The oil and gas industry, as we are all aware, is a knowledge-intensive industry, which means that a high level of artificial intelligence is required to understand the behavior, the communication, the strategy, actions, and inactions of the industry. Those technical understandings are most often not acquired through public hearsay. You need to acquire those through a higher level of an intensive industry analysis. And it was on that basis that we brought in the technical people to explain to you what some of these technical issues are about. The petroleum agreement covering the deep water Cape Tree contract area operated by Acker Energy was executed on the 8th February 20, 2006, between the government of Ghana, GMPC, Hess Corporation, Look Oil and Fuel Trade, subsequently farm in in 2015. Fuel Trade's participation interest was set at a minimum of 2% for which it paid an amount of nine million US dollars with a performance guarantee of two million US dollars. The farming process by full trade was also undertaken through a competitive platform. The contract area has seven discoveries, namely Pecan North, Almond, Carp, Beach, Pecan, Paradise, and Hickory North. Mr. Chairman, the first five of these discoveries are all oil discoveries, <coughs> whilst Paradise and Hickory North are gas discoveries. Aker Energy acquired the interest of Hess Ghana Limited in February 2018 and proceeded to continue the unfinished works 
under the program of appraisal of HES. The question we want to ask ourselves has been thrown to the public yesterday was the fact that Imani portrayed to Ghanaians that Ghana is losing an amount of 30 billion US dollars. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, let's interrogate this assertion by Amani, Imani. Imani tried to alarm Ghanaians about the potential loss of 30 billion US dollars to the country if government failed to negotiate a new petroleum agreement with new terms with the Deepwater Cape Three Point Partners. This is absolutely false. It's an untrue story and it's very, very alarming story. Aker Energy, on behalf of eight partners, announced after a successful appraisal of Peckham Fuel Recovery, a significant oil find as captured below. Based on existing subsurface data from seismic wells drilled and an analysis of the Pecan 4A wells result, the existing discoveries are estimated to contain gross contingent resources in situ of a maximum of 550 million barrels of oil equivalent. How therefore did Imani arrive at the valuation of a field value at 30 billion US dollars? I stated earlier on that this industry is a knowledge intensive industry and therefore required a higher level of artificial, artificial intelligence to undertake some element of valuation. <clears throat> it's Imani, in its simplest process, in an attempt to analyze a very complicated issue, multiplied the proposed reserve estimated of 450 million barrels by an oil price of 65 US dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, this simple arithmetical analysis exposes the weakness in Imani's analysis as well as its poor understanding of the petroleum economics.